hey Virgo welcome back to the channel this is Kelly from House of Virgo I hope you all had a great weekend uh, if you're new welcome please smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading keep in mind it's a general reading some messages may or may not be for you this is a channel for Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus but all signs are welcome and you want to get a push on the reading there's a link in the description box it's for the July special which will be ending next week so do go ahead and book that all right we're going to take a look at the love messages for the week coming up 23rd through the 29th and see I'm going to do a Celtic cross and see what messages there are for you guys okay so past position you have the ace of pentacles four of pentacles seven of wands driving you have the moon crowning the queen of pentacles near future nine of swords seven of pentacles in your advice the other person page of swords hopes and fears the ten of swords and the outcome is wow seven of cups and the tower so the overall message here is the eight of cups virgo so it looks like you're um this week kind of taking a break you are um backing away from the situation people places and things you're actually it feels like um so the eight of cups is like yeah there's a temporary generally a temporary separation or you are separating from all that you've known and i feel like you're kind of like looking at the moon you're looking towards your hopes and your dreams looking after that ninth cup staying very positive but i also feel like you're waiting for perhaps a message from someone um either to hear back from someone um maybe an apology it could be with a queen of cups cancer scorpio pisces um who there may be like some kind of block or something um or waiting for a decision to be made as well um hmm wondering if something's going to move forward in a positive direction it's just kind of like maybe hoping you might be in a position of hope at this time all right virgo so past position opportunity definitely came for you and it looks like it was a good opportunity whether it was in work or uh, somebody put something down on the table and um, it, more so like a gift um, could have been a new job a raise promotion someone offered in, to invest in something with you uh, could have been new income but okay so the ace of cups so there was definitely a potential in the past for something to go in a particular direction okay right now though it looks like as it stands today you are kind of you're holding on to something here um, and I feel like the energies are trying to get you to stop protecting yourself from a situation here now some of you might also be blocking um, someone or it feels like some blocking others from coming in okay so you're holding on really tight to something here let me just get a clarifier card to see what is it that virgo is like possessing like crazy holding on holding on to the idea maybe of a long-term security not taking anything less than that let's see mm. I'm keeping quiet you're not revealing something here virgo and i feel like somebody might be or there's an energy of others or um people places and things trying to get you to open up and you're like nope you're not saying anything you're keeping real quiet you're hiding behind the scenes here one more card why are you what are you holding back okay hmm you don't want to get hurt you're keeping yourself kind of protected um some of you might be you know struggling with some mental issues as well or some mental struggles and you don't want to reveal some things here um hmm yeah, but I just feel like you're protecting yourself real heavily from just this feeling of being trapped or getting yourself in a situation where you feel like you're not going to be able to get out of it. But it's kind of an illusion. I feel like, Virgo, it's kind of like the swords represents the intellect, so it's your thoughts. And your, I feel like your thoughts are really trying to protect you from getting hurt or... Um, to be stuck in some kind of situation like you're 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 restricting yourself maybe you're in isolation as well or just a sense of like i'm staying in my corner i'm self-sabotaging i'm keeping myself in this prison at this time because i don't know what's going on around me you know there was some kind of potential of some new beginning of some sort that happened in the past but i don't know you're keeping yourself blocked from it um 
let me see what was this like all kinds of new starts new starts and um you know the physical and and like your job or your career new love opportunities and i just feel like you're i don't know if you just don't want to get hurt again or you, you're afraid to take some kind of a risk as well yeah look at that you got the nine of pentacles that's your card in the past virgo mm, virgo's like I'm all by myself. I can do I can do drama all by myself. I, I feel like you there's it may not be entirely, but there's like this part of you that's like I don't I don't want to get in a relationship with a particular person or, or or with anybody. Right now I'm building myself and I feel like you're coming from that energy. And I feel like at this time you don't want to destroy anything that you've started. Okay. Um what's driving you is the moon so it's kind of like you're feeling your way through things right now virgo you're not really sure what the outcome is going to be in any area uh, area of your life this well as it stands right now okay this is piscean energy there's virgo taurus capricorn here on the table cancer um scorpio so you're kind of like hmm i, I just feel like you don't want to take a chance here you don't want to ruin something You've built, you've built, you've built, and some of you felt like you were in a good position where you were ready to take on um, a new career change or some kind of new investment or a new love opportunity, but something's keeping you, you're like, you're restricting yourself from going forward. And it feels like it's because of this moon and energy, because there's this unknown happening um, is it deceptive? There's a lack of reality here. Um, you don't want to be disillusioned. Let me see her. Oh, yeah, it has something to do with a past person. Maybe there was some deception or lies or something that happened in the past. And it's like, I feel like some of you got yourself in this position where you're like, you know, it's done and over with that. And you know, I, I can do this. I'm going to do this. I'm in a good place. And then I don't know if something happens this week. Or it's starting to happen this week where you yeah, have first couple days like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you're not so sure. Something happens. Now listen, it's the Venus retrograde. Okay, so there is an energy of a past person who is going to be returning. And I feel like this has something to do with that. Okay, because they do have the page of swords. So there is some communication from a past person. They have you on their mind. They're watching you or they're, you know, they're very curious about something that's going on with you. And maybe some of you have some kind of like, I don't know, I want to say like, oh, but what if this person comes back and, you know, I can't go back with that or, or maybe they've already reached out to you, Virgo, and you're just like, oh, no, no, with the seven of wands, kind of pushing back on that energy. Now, let me see what's crowning is you, you've got you on your mind. Okay, you're focused on yourself. Like the crowning energy for me always feels like what's in your head, what you're thinking about, you know, and I feel like you are I don't want to say it's like this fear, but you do have the Ten of Swords in the position of your fear. So there may be this thing like, oh, what if there's betrayal? You don't want to get hurt again, that kind of energy. But let me just clarify um, the Queen of Pentacles. Now, for others, this could be um, an Earth sign you also have on your mind. That could be your past person. Um, some of you might be wondering if this person's going to come back, if they're going to reach out to you. Um, part of you is like feel like it would be great if they did even if you're not going to take them back um or you don't want to restart something i kind of feel like virgo you, you you're you were doing real good and then you kind of get into this little blip and i feel like it has to do with the venus retrograde because it's not only about lovers returning okay um to restart the relationship it can also be about you getting into this deep feeling or the past is like kind of resurfacing some of you might have put that like kind of suppressed it you know um i feel like some of you might be getting the, the having dreams of this past person and you guys are connecting in the dreams and then you're waking up and it's like that person's on your mind okay so a lot of this is this venus retrograde um there's some things here that i feel like you still need to sort out and i feel like you got to let this flow virgo because i i feel like maybe in the past you thought you were getting through something but the venus retrograde i always feel like is like some kind of a trigger okay all right so 
as far as you, Virgo, it's like you are trying to rebuild here in your life and you're relearning and you want to learn new things and you definitely want to be in a partnership or a commitment. You do have that on your mind. I don't know if it's with that past person, if they don't come back. I do feel like you would like to have that in your life. But Virgo, like going forward, you have all this anxiety. And I feel like going forward this week, it's because you hear from this past person. Now, let me just clarify the nine of swords okay the chariot oh all right let's take a look here okay um i mean virgo this person whoever they are they could be a sagittarius they could also be a libra i feel like this person um comes in they they tell you that they're like they want to get together with you they want to bring peace and harmony into this relationship they look at you like the empress or you know you can change the sexes however you need to but they're, they're just like this person is watching you like crazy they see like you're so alluring and you're so attractive and you have everything they want and i feel like this week they're going to be looking at or looking at you or looking for you to try to reach out and have some kind of message and this might give you a little bit of anxiety here i'm not really sure why because i don't know exactly what happened in the past with this person because you're coming from a good place virgo so i kind of feel like you you know you want to move away from like you're trying to escape from this anxiety here okay um some of you are just like sometime in the middle of the week you could be taking a trip or you're going somewhere let me see here oh and also because they they're also coming in to see you yes they want a reunion oh shoot virgo why is this stressing you out so much i don't know but i see in your position of your advice with the seven of pentacles this is kind of like you kind of like you know i need to think about this hmm i don't know yeah i don't know should i put in the effort again should i try I, like it's you got a struggle week coming up with this Venus retrograde. And this person definitely making an appearance this week. Let me see if I could give you an idea of... Um, oh, you're going to hear from this person on the 27th, Virgo. Not all of you, somebody here, some Virgo here. This person is going to reach out on July 27th, okay? Um, and they're coming in with this Ten of Cups, Virgo. Like, you're it, you're everything. They want to be with you. They want to have that happily ever after thing. You're hesitating. You're, and your advice here, too, is to just really think about this first. Because you've been doing a lot of hard work. This might distract you from you, the work that you have. What day is the 27th? Is that like, because this goes through the 23rd to the 29th, so I guess it would be Thursday. Um, so you might be at work. Some of you might be at work, or this, you know, might, if you work over the weekend, this might, like, have you distracted during the week or in, into the weekend. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, look. This person is coming in with an apology as well, and the sweet offers, and, hmm, I don't know, Virgo, I kind of feel like with that Seven Pentacles, it's like, you're how can i explain it i mean look at his face look at the face getting this cup this person offering this cup and and the face is just like oh, i don't know i gotta think about this just completely distracted from work here tell me more about this person spirit tell virgo more about this person they have their eye on you virgo heavily they're looking for you they're curious they want to know they want to talk to you they're going to try to reach out in some form some way let me see oh wow yeah <laughs> the tower i mean whatever was destroyed with you with this person i don't feel like they're coming in to destroy anything but i feel like the world is jacked at this time like everything is things aren't going well for this person and they're looking for you okay and they want to talk to you and you're i just heard um Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. Like, you're Obi-Wan, Virgo. Like, you're this person's only hope. Um, they also have some kind of earthquake situation happening or some kind of, like, um, weather event happening sometime next Thursday. So, um, mm, or something happens that triggers them to reach out to you. It either happens somewhere. It doesn't have to be where they are. It could just be something that happens in the world this week that's 
connected to you or to them or just connected that it's kind of profound um and then i feel like that's their reaching out reason does that make sense or something happens in their world or they have like a yeah i don't know the, the shed caught fire and they got to tell you about it or somebody came in and robs something at the store or something along those lines you know like i don't know i feel like this person you're the only one that they can talk to about these things. Like you guys have some kind of special connection or special bond where like even with temperance, you guys just blend and your energies, you know, you mix, you had really good chemistry together and they don't really have anyone they can talk to about this. Or if it's something that happens in your area, they check to see if you're okay. I mean, I feel like this person just reaches, they find this reason. So it doesn't feel like an excuse, but that's what they start with, okay? And you might be like, okay, well, thanks, but are you going to apologize for the shit you did? That kind of thing you might be thinking. I don't know if this person, if you feel they owe an apology, or if not, you may be wondering, um, or even just like kind of, I feel like this person is questioning, and that sits in the position of you. So you might be questioning, like, what are they, like, are they, I don't know, Virgo. Some of you want this to happen, though, and I'm going to just speak to those of you, like this person, those of you that are, have struggled and there was some kind of potential or something was happening in this relationship in the past where it was heading somewhere and then somehow there was a cutoff or there was a pushback or something happened and, and you know, the, you might have been like kind of left in the dark here as well like what the heck happened to the person that i was you know talking to or spending time with you know we we were like soulmates there was a really good connection what happened to this person where did they go you know um why did this person push back i feel like for a lot of you it's no other reason other than um either they went to jail <laughs> or something happened they got arrested they went to jail or they just had these restrictions um they couldn't travel they couldn't connect but it was all a big secret and i feel like this person didn't really like they were blocking you know um and not letting you in and if you tried to communicate with this person like hey what's going on what happened it looks like they most of it, most of it's like insecurity they just didn't like they have mental stuff going on okay so yeah, I mean, this person, like the reunion, this person wants to come in, they can get in their car, come see you, drive to wherever you want to be, they want to meet you, you know, and they want to have that connection with you, even if it's just friends, you know, but why? Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's really good chemistry. I feel like you might have offered your love to this person and they were pushing back, pushing back, saying no, they were being apathetic or indifferent and they know it. And I feel like this person um, has had other love offers as well and they're pushing back on those other love offers. So it's like they're not, I don't know, Virgo, I just kind of feel like there's a soulmate connection here. You felt it. They might not have felt it at first. Maybe there was a child involved in the situation as well. And... <laughs> I don't know. I, I mostly, I hate when I say, oh, no, no, I don't mean to say that, but it mostly I feel like this person is getting that angel, angelic guidance coming to terms with, you know, that you are the person that you are it. You are their person. Okay. You are their person. Now, let me just see, like the 10 of swords is here for you, Virgo, and your, your hopes and fears. And so like in your hopes, you're kind of hoping this person just will not make a return, that they will not come back. You know, you just, it's done, it's over, you betrayed me. Like, I hope they don't try to come back again. Like, it's just over. And some of you are fearing that if you reunite with this person, you know, I, I can tell you, like, it, it's, it's like... It's like in the past, there was like this great potential for something to happen, and then everything went on pause. Everything got put on hold. And now this person's reaching back out, or they're trying to connect with you, and they want to come see you or connect with you in some some way, some fashion, meet up with you. And then if you say yes, then you're 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 back starting over again from the potential. Okay, so there's no like, but like I don't see this person like reaching out to you and saying, "Hey, let's get married." But it is what they want. And if it's not marriage, it's just like that happily ever after. Like for you two to be together and look at these, look at the couple with the children, like a happy family or just having con complete contentment, peace and joy and fulfillment. You know, I do feel like that's what they want. But some of you are kind of fearing that it's just going to be another betrayal or it's not going to work out. Um, and some of you want to take this person back, but you, you know, you want to, you love the person, but you, um, 
you have a fear there's going to be some kind of betrayal. Okay, so your outcome, I feel like you're going to be shocked by this, okay, because you've got the tower again here. The outcome for this relationship or this situation is the tower and the seven of cups. So where someone was in like fantasy land or non-committal or just kind of visions of grandeur and not really seeing things, uh, the truth, you know, mostly just being non-committal and just being some kind of dark weirdo i feel like like if there was an ego thing that's getting broken down i do feel though i have to tell you is a similar energy with this tower like i just feel like this this event some kind of event happens that like stokes the fires and brings you guys back together again and i feel like this person <laughs> They just have always had you in their head. Like, you've always been their dream guy, dream girl. Uh, no matter what has happened, even if they disappeared or something took them away, or whatever it was, I don't feel like that ever really changed. Yeah. I feel like this person's been waiting. And I do feel like there's, like, a real spiritual connection in this in this relationship or at least that will begin to grow, which is pretty amazing because I feel like maybe this person didn't believe in spiritual things or they didn't have like they didn't believe in like any kind of higher power or anything like that i feel like the ego breaks you know because I, like i always feel like if you don't believe in anything greater than yourself then you're thinking probably you're the greatest thing <laughs> you know what i mean like i mean i don't care if you know somebody wants to like it's like okay this mug is my higher power i know that i am not greater than the universe and i feel like this person probably never I mean, I feel like this person never really believed, you know, maybe they were of a specific kind of uh, spiritual belief system, but something's switching, something's changing. And what I mean by that is like, whatever, wherever you are, there was a lack of alignment in spiritual beliefs. And I feel like this person was never going to commit to, maybe that had something to do with a split up because you were of different faiths or different beliefs. And I feel like this person is going to shock you and just be like, no, I'm, I'll do that too. I, like we'll be together and I'll, I'll fall in line with that. Okay. And I don't know that, you know, the hangman is just like a, a card of peace. You know, I feel like there's going to be peace after a huge breakdown, you know, after the storm, like the calm and then the storm and then everything like is refreshed and starts over and we rebuild. Okay. That's Pisces energy there. So yeah, and then here you both go on that journey again. So, you know, kind of where <laughs> this person is just coming back to get you. That I mean, that's just point blank period. That's just what I feel like is going on here. I just want to see real quick, because the seven of wands in the position of the, the challenge, I feel like it was really difficult for someone here to push back against another person that they were starting something with. I feel like maybe they had to. Yeah, look, there's the two of cups. I feel like this person probably could never see themselves being in a long-term relationship, but they were hopeful. But the best maybe they could arrive at was friends. I feel like the relationship got really maybe just to the two of cups and nothing deeper. And here they are now with the ten of cups. So I feel like, you know, they definitely want to connect with you and you will be hearing from them sometime around the 27th, where I do feel like... Um, <sighs> It's, it's not like Virgo is not going to be like, hey, let's get married. Maybe you might have been waiting to hear about something from this person, but uh, maybe you asked that question if they wanted something more with you. You might have asked them that. And I feel like, um, I mean, they're definitely coming in with an answer, but it's not going to be direct and it's not going to be immediate. The, the, whole, the whole fact that they're reaching back out is because they do want that, okay? So I don't know what the deal is with this person, if they're just someone who just kind of hides or, like I said, some kind of dark weirdo in the corner. It's just like this person who can't, and I don't mean to offend anyone, but so don't take it like that. But I just feel like this person, I don't know, they got some insecurity issues or some stuff going on. Yep, they got codependency. <laughs> uh, maybe it was an addiction. Maybe they got stuck in rehab or something happened or they got into some kind of trouble. They have codependency issues. Seriously, that that right there in itself is a difficult thing to get over. Um, and I feel like that played a, a really strong role. So in a relationship not going forward, codependency, 
you would think like, okay, well, why wouldn't someone want to be with me if they were dependent on me? But codependency is more like a manipulation tactic that people use to get um, what they want from another person. And it feels like they couldn't get that from you. And that's probably like for most of you why this person left, but it's probably for uh, a few of you, there's other reasons, like I stated, but mostly this person could not manipulate you. And they might have been trying not to hurt you, but just to get their needs met. And that's not the right thing to do. Like if you need to get your needs met, you got to state what it is that you need and then let the other person make the decision if they're capable of doing that. You know, not manipulate and coerce to try to get someone to meet your needs. That's effed up. Okay. So is this person healing from this addiction? Well, temperance is here. So there is a healing energy in regards to that. And even with the tower, I feel like they're, they're, someone knocked their block off, Charlie. I really feel like something happened, like not just an event. Maybe they have an event that happens that just kind of wakes them up. But, you know, even just with that lightning bolt, that's like coming down from spirit, you know, breaking their ego, making them realize some things. What else do you have here? So, if you, like I said in the beginning, if you've been waiting to hear from somebody about something or, or hear just about somebody, you're going to hear from that person this week. Oh, let me get some jumpers. Okay. <laughs> Too funny. Pay attention to the red flags. Let's give you the one. Okay. And this doesn't mean that this person's coming in with red flags, but it does mean you need to pay attention to make sure. So if you're going to take this person back, Virgo, the message is like, I mean, I feel like this is the romantic partner for you for sure, but don't give yourself over, don't ignore any red flags if they're coming in. You got to make sure. Um, it doesn't mean that they're coming in with them. It just means that if you see one, address it immediately. Don't let things fester. Okay, once you see a red flag, you got to call it out immediately. If you let it fester and you don't actively deal with a red flag, it will continue to get bigger and bigger and wave harder and harder until it's completely out of control. And then if you wait to call someone's red flag out after <laughs> however long, like a really long time, they could throw it right back in your face. But you know, it doesn't matter because you, you can do whatever you want. If you weren't comfortable before, I feel like now you need to. So if a red flag comes in, Virgo, you have soulmate. Okay. You're this, yes, this is your soulmate. It doesn't feel like a twin. Um, this is just some kind of a, a, a relationship that started and it didn't actually come to fruition. And I feel like for all the various reasons I gave you, um, addictions, codependency, insecurity, somebody went to jail, somebody couldn't, they didn't think they could do it, whatever the reason is, they do think or they get some kind of an awakening with the tower, where they do feel like they can do it, or something happens to you, or they think that you've had a major issue happen to you, and, and uh, they're worried about you. Like, I feel like, you know, I don't know how they would find out or if, if it's just something on the news in your area or something happens like the first thing they think about is you and then they reach out and they want to make sure you're okay you know because I why I mean who does that uh, because they do love you I just feel like but that's no reason for you to wait you know that that's reason for you to like <laughs> look here and be like okay let me just look and see you know should I accept this love offer this apology let me see is there any red flags uh, I see pink ones I'm not seeing any red ones, but like at the end of the day, you kind of have to figure that out on your own there, right, Virgo? So let me get a couple of messages of love to see what's going on here. What else does Virgo need to know? Oh, okay. Got two. Yep. Apologies coming in. I thought you guys had that apology the other day. And you know what? Like I say with the apology, um, Apologies got to come with amends. If they don't, it's just manipulation. So make sure that they're not just coming in with a page of cups, but that they're coming in with this, yes, I'm sorry, and how can I make it up to you? And that they do that, and they continuously do that because the trust needs to be built if you feel there was some kind of betrayal. Okay, this person is unable to give you all you deserve. Okay, that's the apology. For some of you, this is like this person, like I was not, I couldn't do it. I was afraid. I had these issues. I wasn't, a, I didn't know how to be available. I got stuck in jail. Um, I had like other stuff that came up and I'm sorry that I didn't 
that I just blocked you or ghosted you and I'm sorry that I didn't, you know, stay communicative with you about what was going on or I didn't or I didn't have the courage to just tell you the truth that I'm just a lowly page and I see you as an empress and I didn't think you would even give me the time of day that kind of thing or I didn't think I was worthy of you whatever you know at the end of the day Virgo it's like okay well if, if you know get it together <laughs> looking at your watch get it together I don't have you know come on I love you I'll give you whatever you need but you gotta like find a way to give it back or we got nothing here like it takes two it takes two to make a thing go right it takes two to make it out of sight okay I can't even tell you who's saying that I have no idea I don't remember it takes two I can't remember that's so bad it was a long time ago there might have been interference an external party intruding on the relationship so for some of you there might have been a third person you know um if you know that for a fact that's your card if you don't know for a fact it could have been family members it could have been friends it could have been career external could have been the cops coming and arresting this person it could have been them having to go into rehab it could have been anything right definitely interference which caused their unavailability the interference could have been an energy my insecurity right my not i'm not saying you i'm saying them their interference could have been their deep insecurities um their addictions you know let's see and letting them your soulmate again your soulmate loves accepts and respects you unconditionally virgo like uh, uh, this person like you're it you're the one for them <clears throat> i know i hear you why aren't they here then where are they what's going on well i just told you and they got to come around when they're ready to come around you in the meantime virgo what do you need to do let's take a look what does virgo need to do in the meantime Hold on, I'm going to get a different deck. While Virgo is, while this person's trying to get their ish together, what does Virgo need to do during this week or at any time until they hear back from this person? What does Virgo need to be focusing on and doing with their life? Okay. Huh. Look at you. Staying strong, courageous, stay in your self confidence. Trust the process, Virgo. Get stronger, Virgo keep working on that strength whatever you're building maybe your strength training i don't know keep working on your strength your courage um your self-love your unconditional love for self stay in your energy of self-respect do not falter from that okay ten of cups and keep a positive mindset that no matter what, if this situation does not pan out, because this is a general love reading, and as I said, it may not be for all of you, but for some of you it may be. If this doesn't happen, this will at some point in your life. Don't think. Listen, I get calls from I get calls from 80-year-olds <laughs> struggling with their, you know, someone they just met. So trust me, Virgo, it, it's gonna happen. You're not gonna be you know alone with your cat for the rest of your life. You gotta think positive. Focus on the positive manifest those positive energies yeah, there you go get into your psychic attach to that psychic intuition okay look you've got the three of cups you guys i do feel like you and this person will be together again for sure um something starts during the retrograde i will tell you that um definitely a reunion some of you are already feeling it you, you already know you already know and some of you are already positive about this situation um and if it's not with this particular person whoever your person is you're positive as well um most of you that you're you're gonna meet somebody okay you can get out there and go dancing and do your thing like it's bound to happen it's bound to happen okay yeah so queen of pentacles in the reverse again um <laughs> it's funny but get greedy virgo with your positive energy be greedy with that depend on the positive energy get greedy soak that up as much as you can i don't care if that's putting positive affirmations all around your house sticking them on the dashboard of your car um setting an alarm with positive affirmations that go off and like alerts in your phone just that constant you got this you are you're you're doing great keep that energy going like get greedy with that okay don't get greedy with the negative side 
you know don't allow that negative energy to come in and say it's never going to happen for me or i'm never going to meet anyone or this person and i are never going to work it out of course you will if you want it to okay but you have to have that mindset like you have glass half full or glass half empty okay um that's just the yin and the yang of the situation speaking of which let me just get a couple of chinese signs to see who your person might be who you are let me see hold on i have so much stuff on my table i need to clean stuff up okay let me see chinese signs for virgo and this person it could be you it could be them it could be both of you it could be none of you take it with a grain of salt okay so year of the dog okay year of the rat year of the tiger year of the monkey year of the rooster year of the horse year of the pig and year of the ox okay fantastic all right let me just get some charms and then we're gonna blow out this reading um hold on let's see virgo charms charms for virgo and as you guys you can't see but i close my eyes when i pull these so okay you're starting with where's my okay you're starting with a horse and we did say year of the horse right didn't we somebody's a horse there we go okay horse is significant for someone okay um somebody rides horses or lives in an area where there's farm or s farms or horses 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 um <laughs> some of you your 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 knight of your knight of cups your knight of wands your your knight of pentacles your knight of swords the horse is taken off and they're running after it um but there's a connection to horses whether it's your chinese sign or um there's this feels like um okay they're just telling me now they're giving me that song how this person feels about you wild horses couldn't drag them away and maybe they play it on a guitar or they're listening to the song okay or somebody has had that sung to them or they they hear that song and if you hear that song this week or any version anywhere in any way about horses that's the energy i'm picking up from this person like no matter what wild horses couldn't drag them away from you okay and you also have a key with a heart okay so i mean i feel like this person's coming in with the key to unlock your heart you know they're gonna try to do that virgo and of course like i always say if if you want that you know you have free will once you shut this reading off you're on your own so it's up to you these are just the messages that i'm picking up you can shut this off and say nope not my reading not for me you can just listen and enjoy the chat or just maybe it's for somebody else and wish them all the best um but for some of you it's for you okay so you know you could get the call from someone <laughs> at midnight july 27th which if they're calling at midnight you better hope that they're in a time zone that is like say around 5 okay 5 p.m because you don't want anyone call if they're calling at midnight it's probably a beauty call but what i'm trying to say is like or they could call midnight going into july 27th do you know what i mean so you get that whole 24 hours there somewhere around that time but definitely before the weekend um, ends okay so keep that in mind virgo i'm gonna leave this message here for you and i hope you guys had a fantastic weekend make good choices love yourselves love others be happy and again if you want to get a personal reading make sure you get it before july 31st because i do have a discounted special personally with me that you can book with me until then okay so do go grab that all right virgo love ya i'll see you all back here tomorrow